A trooper is only as good as his mount, or so goes the old cavalry saying. And a good horse is one that's steady on its feet. Staff Sergeant James Tapin takes a look at what may be the most important job in the 1st Cavalry Division's horse detachment. A farrier's job is never ending and is filled with immense responsibility. They are in charge of the upkeep and the well-being of the horse detachment's 41 hooved animals. Now that work is not easy. You're bent down for about an hour, uh, shuffling from one foot to the next. And you're pulling off the old shoes. And if they're worn out or not, you put on new shoes. Those new shoes are stamped to a pattern. They don't fit the horse's feet. You gotta shape that. You shape that on an anvil like there and using a rounding anvil. And sometimes we have to make modifications to those shoes, so we use the forges, okay? And then we'll do that on the same end. The technology that we use on a daily basis was 1880s technology. So there's not a lot of revamping. This shop right here is one of those very historic shops. It's not a trade that you can change. It's not a trade that has become better. There's been thousands of years of thinking on this, and uh, there's no reinventing the wheel when it comes to horseshoe. To be selected to be one of the few active duty military ferries is a tremendous point of pride with me. Reporting for the 1st Cavalry Division, I'm Staff Sergeant James Tapin.